Welcome back everybody to another devlog for our game Carveros. Carveros is a game that I've been working on with me and my friend Alex for almost two years now. It's a multiplayer cooperative Souls-like game. Part of the reason why it's been so long since my last videos is just because I've been working hard to build up what I wanted to have in this video, which is a demo. You did it! Congratulations! So right now, the only way to get it is to go to our website, arcdeform.com, go to our blog posts, and it is up on a blog post for the combat demo where you can download it from there. Um, it, this is only available on PC, however, so if you're a console player... And in this video, I kind of want to go over some of the aspects of the demo before you jumped in and started playing it. There's a few things I wanted to kind of go over with you guys, specifically in terms of giving us feedback on bugs or just ratings and different stuff like that, as well as just certain bugs that we are, I'm already aware of that are in there that I'm not going to fix because they're relevant to specific things in the demo. You disgust me. How can you live with yourself? So, for the demo, since it is a combat demo only, there is a lot of features I actually have taken out. For example, I actually removed the inventory system and just put in a, uh, an auto-equipping system for when you pick up some items. So, and then there's also a lot of other features that we intend to bring into the game that just aren't there yet. When you play the demo, please consider that it is a combat demo, so it's mainly for us to get an idea of what you guys think of the player controls, the movement of it all, how the player character kind of reacts and is functioning. So uh, first of all, how do you actually install it and get it? I do have a link in the description below that will take you directly to the blog post so that you can download it straight from there. Or like I said, you can go to our website at arcdeform.com. Once you have the page up, uh, there's some information just kind of going over what I just kind of talked about. And then if you go down, there's a download button. You just click the download button. Uh, that's going to download a compressed zip file. And then below that, I also have some instructions on how to install it as well. Open the file that's called carveros.exe or execute. And that file is going to run the game. Once when you have the uh, game downloaded and it's ready to play, if you want to give the game a rating or give us any feedback, there is a button on there that you can click on. It's a rate or report bug button that I have in the menu. Uh, once when you click on that, it's going to open a Google form. Um, obviously, you'll have to be signed into your Google account to fill out the form. And I tried to make it pretty easy, um, pretty simple and quick. One of the things I wanted to make note of is when you go to report a bug, I also have listed on the Google form that there are already some known bugs, and then we'll get into those here in a minute. If it's not listed one of those, then definitely do report it and uh, fill out those questions as best you can. I do prefer that if you want to give us feedback that you do use this form though, because it's going to give us a lot of statistics. If you're having any issues, then feel free to contact me through Facebook or um, YouTube or anything like that. In terms of the known bugs that are already in there, there is a rendering issue that I'm pretty sure is due to occlusion culling. Every time you reach a checkpoint, your player character will stop being rendered by the camera. And the quick way to just fix this in-game is to start running in the game. Also, sometimes there's an issue where the camera will pass through terrain and it'll create that same rendering issue with your player character or other things might start having rendering issues. I'm, I'm still learning how to animate, so some of the animations are a little wonky. Specifically, the spid crab, when it dies, it kind of glitches around a little bit. So don't bother reporting that one, I'm, I'm well aware. <laughs> And then there's a few other things where I've I've still been trying to really refine the AI pathing, but sometimes the uh, creatures will kind of get caught in certain paths on their way to you, and uh, they're not smart enough to go around. Sometimes that happens. Yeah, anyway, guys, I'm really excited for you to play the demo. Something to keep in mind is from now on, we will be uploading less often. I'm going to try to upload about once a month now. It's just kind of hitting the point where I really have to focus a lot more on what I'm actually really getting done in the game 
and making dev vlogs does take a good amount of time. And also, I think in our next video, I'll wait to see everyone's feedback. Um, I'll wait to look at the forums and all that, and to look at it all at once, live, and make a video for that for you guys. Please be nice. Please. So, if I'm not kind of responding to certain feedback in the next month or so, that's probably why. It's because I'm just not looking. I don't want to wait. Oh, and uh, one more thing. If you guys aren't subscribed, subscribe, please. Um, give this video a like, uh, share it. And if you want to see us on our other social medias, we've got Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, even, all this stuff. So check those out too. Yeah, so thanks for watching, um, and go check that game out.